Hello everybody and welcome back to Feldbrunn. So first of all today what I need to do is unload the combine which is about to be 100% full. Uh, in fact it should be about to stop any second. Let's see if it stops before I get to it. Oh, bit of a boost there just to get up the hill. Uh, yeah, so I need to uh, unload this first of all. The next thing I need to do is to try out a brand new mod which is basically a mod which allows you to build a pond or whatever it is you want to make with water. Um, it is a certain size, but that's not an issue. The main idea of it is just basically to store water for giving to your animals. So I'm hoping to make a, a very small pond in a field next to my horse paddock, just over there. It probably won't be the same size as the, the actual template, uh, but it doesn't need to be. So it just wants to cover a fairly small area. Right, so that seems to uh, have quite a bit in it. It was almost full. Must have been about 99% full. Um, so that's good. That is going to have enough space for a bit more. Probably almost a full load. So there's no point taking it over to the sell point yet. But very soon there is going to be some money coming in. Which is good. My long term plan is actually to be able to buy this field here. Sow grass and just have this massive area as grass. Because I want my pond to go here. Which is obviously going to take up some of my current grassland. Um, but I don't think it's a massive issue. Because I don't need much anyway at the moment. But... Long term, I probably will do. So, yeah, this is how it works. Basically, what you have to do is, first of all, go into the landscaping page. You can go to the store page first if you really want to, if you're totally sure that the land is perfectly flat, but probably not a good idea. Um, so I'm going to choose this area here. And, yeah, you need to sink it first. Dig the little hole. Uh, you don't have to make it all first if you don't want to. Just start it off. And then go into this page, choose the water station, which is essentially a water plane. And if you make sure that that is actually central. So I'm very happy with that location. I'm going to buy it. And what you're going to see here is not a very well made hole with some water in it. So now I can expand on this because this mod is very good. Um, but yeah, that, that is just basically to get the water in there in the first place. There is actually a tutorial on the mod hub page anyway. So if you want to watch that, you can do. Uh, probably advisable actually. But yeah, that's just to show you basically what you can do with this. Um, so now I'm going to go back onto the landscaping page and just make it all look much prettier. So, um, yeah, what I need to do is, well, I think I'm going to use the, uh, the round tool instead of using the square tool. I can do whatever I like. Wherever I go with this, it's going to have water below, as long as I don't go too far. Let's smooth off the edges here. Make a nice gentle bank. So just to show you the progress so far, you can see here, I've got some water. Still going to work on it though. I would like a, a pond to be a bit bigger than this. It's just to uh, show you the work in progress state. There we go. And the combine needs to be emptied again. It is filling up incredibly quickly. Where's it going? Come back. Where is it going? Uh, is it actually going to reverse all the way back and start again? That, I've got to say, would be quite impressive. Uh, I have no idea. There is a scarecrow there. I, I really don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? You crazy? You're crushing my crop. What a mess. I have no idea what it's doing. Okay, well, I'll unload it and set it back on its way again. Clearly something was a bit too much for it there. I should have a full trailer after this. In fact, it probably won't totally empty. Um, I'm hoping for a good price somewhere. If not, I'm going to have to somehow store this. It has been mentioned that you can take it over to the railway silo. Um, but yeah, honestly I'd prefer just to take it over to the best sell point. So in a second I'm going to take a look, see where that best sell point is and then go to it. Right, uh, 2195 is the best one, price is currently going down. 2184 at Port Southeast which is currently going up. So if I wait a bit longer I might be able to get a much better price on that. So. Maybe by the time I get there, it will have increased. So it's currently 2187. Off we go. Port Southeast is the one just over here, I think. Yep. Near the uh, Lime Station. So that's what I'm going to head off to. Then I'll be back in the pond and I can finish it off. I don't really want too much time to elapse because otherwise it's going to be dark, obviously. Uh, so I just need to get a, a decent price within the daylight time, so that should be enough. 
hopefully that is good enough. And yep, the sell point is just over here. I have loads more products to sell as well. Loads of wool and loads of eggs. So as soon as I get a great demand on one of those two, or both, um, they'll be coming to the best sell point as well. This one does seem to be the best sell point the most. I, I don't really know why. But the current price on this is 2219. Which is, yeah, that is the best. And still rising. So the next load might even be better. 23,300 and 77 pounds. That is very good and certainly makes it worthwhile using a worker. Right, back to the field. No doubt it's going to have to be unloaded again. And then back to my pond. It's an ongoing project. I was actually quite interested to discover if I could pick up the wall pallets with the, uh, the crane from yesterday. If you can do, that is going to be the best option for me for loading them because you know how useless I am uh, with using pallet tines. Um, so <laughs> That's what I'm going to have to do. Um, I want to try it out anyway, so... When I've done the pond, I will attempt to start loading. I have to unload the trailer just there as well. And I am driving around like I'm lost. It has very intelligently skipped the piece which has a scarecrow in it. So, it knew not to drive into that area. I'm actually quite impressed. Let's take a look and see exactly what it has done. Has it left the entire area? Look at that. Intelligence. That is intelligent. Well, I suppose if it was really intelligent, it would have gone around it and done the rest of the field, but it's a step in the right direction, that's for sure. Now, it is almost full. All done. Back over to the pond. This is turning into a very interesting storyline. I could just call the episode Back to the Pond. Right, so yeah, what I want to do is make this a bit deeper. Uh, not with that tool though, I obviously need to change it to the other tool. There we go. Um, yeah, I want it to look fairly decent in size, but obviously the more I do, the less grass I'm going to have to cut, so I can't go too far. Also, the more bank that I smooth, the more grass it's going to remove. It's looking alright. There we go. Um, I also need to change the texture colour because it wouldn't be the same lush grass as it would be in the field in the pond. So I'm going to change the colour of that. I don't know exactly which texture I'm going to go for. Um, but just something which obviously suits it. So yeah, now to this one. I suppose I could use dirt, not wood chips. Um, I could use the dirt with the grass in it, not gravel. None of these. Probably not rock. I think that one there was sand, so I could go for the sand just to try it out. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe not quite so far out, though. It's not like a, a sandy beach. That's good. And, um, yeah, if I just put that across there then the surrounding area can have like a fairly worn grass effect. I've noticed things do look much better when they're not in the editor. When you're editing stuff here, it actually looks like you're painting stuff, um, but if you're in first person view, it looks a lot better. Shame it has gone quite so far, I should have used a smaller tool, but it's all right. That is good. The mod itself is obviously fantastic because this is not just like a, a decoration. This is now for me to fill up my water tank for free uh, since we own the, uh, the the lake and the land. Lake probably doesn't quite pass as the lake. Let's go back to a pond. I've just realized that looks a little bit ugly there. So actually, <laughs> wrong tool again. If I just try and smooth that off, maybe I can't do... Yeah, going to have to go for that. Smooth this off here. Because those bits of foliage, bulrushes, were growing out of the soil, which didn't really look that good. There we go. So again, it's just play around, practice makes perfect, all that sort of stuff. Although whenever I say that, somebody says, don't say that, because practice never makes perfect. Practice can make perfect, certainly, and it definitely improves the quality of work. Um, so there we go. The combine has almost finished. I'm going to take over, I think, because it's just a waste of money using the worker. The worker is good, 
but if I'm available to do the same work, I might as well just do it. So I've got this piece to do, and the section where the scarecrow is, if I can help it, I would like to keep the scarecrow there, um, because you can't just move things. If you could move things, then that would be great, but yeah, I would have to sell it to then replace it. Unless I have set the value of it to zero, unless the value originally was zero, it's going to be in decoration. No, it was £300. I think I should probably change that because then I can just remove it, drill the field and put it back. Right, well there we go, another field finished, and it's not another full trailer unfortunately, but it is still a decent amount. Um, so yeah, the price should be better than ever hopefully, I did sell some so it might have a, an effect on it, but um, yeah, it, it's pretty good. 2229, and it's at the same sell point I think, yep, same sell point, so off we go. I also need to do some field extensions, I think that's going to be in a live stream. Uh, this field in particular, down the bottom here, is fairly big. There, there is a big area of just grass, which is potentially wasted land if I'm not going to cut it, which I don't think I'm going to. So this field could be extended all the way down here. It's like another one of my smaller fields. Um, and yeah, the amount of extra crop I get off it would be uh, dramatically increased. So that is something I need to do, I need to get the plough out, and the other thing I need to do is, yeah, well, obviously get a new tractor, this tractor is going to be replaced with the Massey Ferguson, but also buy another field, I need to be able to buy another field, sell the wool, sell the eggs, and I should have quite a bit of money, hopefully. And now for load number two, I'm guessing it's going to be around £15,000, if it is that's very good. 16,701, even better. Okay, so that has all turned out to be really profitable, which I'm very pleased about. Um, it always does make a difference if you keep fertilizing the land, so I need to keep that up, and everything's going to go really well. But now, what I'd like to do is, um, yeah, try and move some wall pallets with the crane. I'm not too sure if the official term for it would be a crane, but yeah, same sort of thing. Hydraulic lift. I've got a load of bags that need to be taken off there, so I think, um, yes, yeah, so I'll get those taken off there very quickly, first of all, in a time lapse, of course, and I need to find a good place to put them. Where can I put them? Uh, well, the obvious. Well, was, that was for the combine, but that is the obvious place to put them. So, yes, all those bags into here. Let's take the straps off, first of all. There we go. I think that's everything. Yep. Okay, so yeah, time to move some big bags.
Well, that is the trailer now empty, so hopefully I can now go over to the wall pallets and load them up. If I can't do, it's fine. I can choose the front loader if I really need to. Um, but it's just a, a good opportunity to be able to try this out again. Um, with it being such a decent mod. It really is well made. So, uh, thinking about it actually, <laughs> I have got the rear weight on here. It probably isn't that heavy a pallet of wool, but chances are I do still need to have a weight, so I might as well just move it with this tractor first, the trailer. Or, actually, I could just keep the trailer here. Um, so I can just pull them around. But yeah, as I've already started the case, there's not much point in just leaving it here. But I could have done. So, yes, I'll just put it around the corner, a bit closer to where the wall pallets are going to go. And yeah, it's just going to make life a little bit easier. Probably here. Um, where can I put it? I'll put it there. Should be a good place. I don't know what it is about this Ford and this mod, this uh, crane mod, but it, it's just like they're made for each other. It looks really good on there. Obviously you might have your own opinion, but I just think it looks really good. Um, so yeah, let's see if this does work. I think it will do, because these are on pallets and it does seem to pick up anything on a pallet, so here we go. Let's try it out. It does. Very good. But how heavy is it? Not very. Yeah, nothing like those big bags of lime. They're incredibly heavy. And debatably, this is easier than using a forklift. It is for me at least, because you know what I'm like. I always tend to uh, get the time stuck in the pallet. It's just, I'm, I'm fairly useless. But uh, yeah. So I've got three to move. If I can help it, I'm going to try and leave the one which is there. But if I knock it, it might stop filling up. It doesn't necessarily, um, but sometimes it does do. Okay, right. Um, come on, power. I need power to get up the hill. I was using the keyboard actually before to use the cranes. Quite a bit easier than using the mouse. Nothing neat about my stacking, but at least they're getting on the trailer. Uh, they would be on the trailer if I used a forklift, but they would have also been pulled off the trailer when trying to get the tines out. This is just an alternative loading method, which for me works very well. And finally, we have this one here, which is going to be a bit more troublesome. Ah, I could just move them both, but I don't really want to. It just takes up unnecessary space. I'm going to have to turn around. Oh, who put that gator there? Must have been me. That's the other thing with this. You don't have to be perfectly aligned, which is nice. Just as long as you're close enough so the straps can go around it, and obviously so the straps aren't going to go a bit crazy when you pick it up. But there we go. I think I can quite safely say, even though the final pallet isn't on the trailer, that I have successfully loaded four pallets of wool, ready for the sell point as soon as the great demand comes in. There we go. So yeah, I have successfully loaded these pallets. Good to see. What is the current price of wool? Is it worth selling now? Uh, no, the price is just dropping. But as soon as it does become good again, I think two and a half thousand is a, a good price up to 3,000. Um, that is when I'm going to be going up to the sell point and making my fortune. So hopefully by then as well this pallet will be full and we'll have some more egg boxes to put onto the pallets. And again, you see, because I'm using this approach I can use the crane over there to move these pallets before it was just a load of cardboard boxes. So I'm going to leave it there today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.